Well, we're on to our second and last turn of this uh, scenario from Aracur. Um I did all the prep work already. Got um, uh, rain again. Didn't get any air points, uh, which wasn't very likely anyway. Um, I rolled for the formation that was going to disappear. Um, unfortunately for the Germans, that was um, the one thirteenth because <coughs> the one eleventh would have had a much bigger impact. <laughs> Basically, kind of, I don't know about that rule because basically it would have taken all these units off um, and then the u.s could have stepped in the town if they got their first activation which they did so the, the first activation is u.s everybody is now on their um regular side as far as headquarters units um, This is on the ghost side for second cav. Uh, since the US won the roll, I think I'm going to activate um, the CCR. Let me take a look at this and check what would be most advantageous first. Okay, I want to show you um, some of the details of this activation because uh, it's a pretty important one. Um, I won't show you details of everyone unless something uh, big is happening. And since the U.S. rolled first, um, I'm going to activate the CCR. Actually, yeah, that changes to two. Um, I have to show you the steps they took. Uh, I rolled a full activation so they can get full movement points. I put a double objective marker here. Um, I flipped this unit to the move side, has five. Now, because there's, there's no support yet for that formation, this hasn't gone into support yet, it will on the next activation. So US was very fortunate to get this chance to take back that hex. Um, so you flip and I'm gonna move in. They don't have zone of control to stop this tack, this tracked unit. Um, and then we're going to use up a fire attack I need sixes. I roll two dice because there's two units there, so they're gonna just fire for effect. Um, no hits. Um, now what that's gonna do is help on the um, die modifiers for their shock attack. Attack if you do a shock attack preceded by attack by fire, you get um, plus one. So I wasn't expecting any hits there, but it's gonna help later on. Okay, then I'm gonna use up one of the artillery points to support, uh, do a suppression during the shock attack, which you can do. That's going to be a plus one. Um, so let's go down. We're gonna do our second fire event with that unit as a shock attack. Uh, it's not dual. It does have a double objective zone. That's plus one. Oh, I should note this is a seven. Three plus four is seven. We'll zoom in even farther so you can see. Um, three plus four is seven to three. So it starts at plus four on the difference. Um, double objective, now we're at plus five. Um, the, oops, let's pull back here. Let's see. Um, 
suppression mission on a shock attack is plus one. So now we're at plus, what do you say, plus four, plus five, plus six. There's no assist. Um, it's a shock attack preceded by attack by fire. So that's now plus seven. The shock attack AV unit is hard red. That's plus eight. And the Defender's Hex contains two combat units, so now we're back to plus seven. It's in a City Hex, so now we're at plus five. Um, and then we'll do our roll. Six. Get up here. Six plus five is 11. And I believe that's going to be a retreat. We'll see. Yep. 11 is, uh, they lose one step and they have to retreat three hexes. So that's a huge, that all those modifiers are, are uh, crazy, but that's how that works. Hope I'm doing that right. Seems right. Um, I'll have to retreat three. Back to here. And then uh, they've used both their fire vents. Um, and I believe, I think um, after shock and the retreat, I think you can go into. Um, into the hex. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't have any, I, I'm actually stopped here because I, I'd used both fire vents so they can't go into that hex, but it, it's not gonna be a problem because I've got other units I'm gonna move. So the other, um, let's actually go in with both. We'll flip this, go to here. We flip this, they can go across. Um, so now, the uh, U.S. is sitting pretty good, um, and we'll roll for fatigue. And notice I even I even managed to get um, we've used both of these up. Managed to get that I rolled an eleven, so I had full activation even though I have three fatigue. So okay, and the fatigue chart. Anytime, the, the most you can do on the fatigue increase, or, or the the um, the biggest range is if you do any kind of uh, regular attack with infantry, call an attack sequence. Um, otherwise, it's um, that's one through three. Otherwise, engagements, shock attacks. Actually, um, no, I think that counts. The shock attack counts because that's on the regular combat table. So, but I rolled a six, so it's not a problem. And now for second activation, uh, I need, uh, let's flip this, four, five, or six. And they don't get it, they got a three which is all right, because that was a pretty decent first activation. Okay, and then on to the German turn. We'll see what happens. This is actually turning out to be, I mean, part of it is the U.S. managing to win the, the first activation roll, um, both this turn and last turn, I think, helped. Um, because... I, th I thought it would be a lot easier for the German. I realized they had to push the screening units out um, to get down to the city, but um, U.S. managed to push back with a lot of um, die modifiers. So that turned, about, turned out pretty well. Um, it's a lot more back and forth than I thought this scenario might be. So 
So far it's been fun, even though I've made mistakes. All right, we're on the German activation side and I decided to lead with the 21st Panzer and hoping that I can bump out that screen unit. It's going to go back here. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that I can eliminate that one step and then there won't be any impediment to going into here and attacking from the south. Um, um, so we're going to go for activation. The problem is it's fatigue three, so that's minus three. It does get plus one for the optimal distance. Everything else should be fine. So plus for a minus two to the roll. And that is as bad as it gets. Roll the three. So they, on the snafu chart, as you can see, um, that's fails two or less. Now, um, I can, I'm going to check on doing a failed recovery, which would mean I could um, pretend that I didn't roll that and try to do a recovery, get to fatigue two, um, and hopefully get a second activation. We'll check on that. Okay, well, I could do the failure flip, but if I try to do a recovery, um, I can't get a second activation, and they really need it, so they're going to have to do a flip here and hope for the best. You need a five or six. Uh, ooh, they do get a five. Um, so they get a second activation, and now we have to roll for that. Still minus two. I wish I had that in the first one. That was 11. So they get a full activation on the second activation. Okay, well, we gotta make the most of it. So let's get this um, 2112 unit going. It's one, I think tracks actually, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's still one for attack. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, and oops, no, I have to. Sorry, I missed the screen. So that's an extra, that's five, but then an extra six, seven, eight. So it's at eight right now before it does the first fire attack or the first engagement against that unit. And it's a six to five. Plus one, a nine, that's a good one. A nine is, I believe, a step loss. Yep. Nine is a target loss and retreat. So we eliminated that screen unit. That was the last of the screen units. Well, oh, there's one up here, but, um, no, what was I at? Nine, I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was at eight. So you can go nine, ten, eleven. And twelve. And we're gonna try to push back this might be a little tricky. Um I, I just want to note too, let's take a look at this closer. Those of you still following along, trying to get the rules a little bit in your head. Um, this has a range of two, but it doesn't affect zone of control. So I, I can go right up to it. Um, that's only for firing engagement or uh, fire for effect. So I've got one more fire event left and I will do Engagement, that's gonna be a little too, that's actually a minus one for me. 
Um, well, we can still maybe push it back. I think that's going to be both. Um, yeah, seven minus one is six, both loss. So this one goes down four steps. This one now is at one. Oof. Um, and it has to stop because it is no more, more fire events. Okay, the rest of the 21st Panzer. Um, I guess we'll have to. We could do eight, one. but we can only get to here or here now this even though this was stopped it could still assist in an attack um, I think we're gonna we're gonna do this this one's going to flip so it can use eight Road hex is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that's one, two, three, four. No, it can't. I counted wrong initially. So in order to get close enough in this last activation, I'm gonna have to keep it on this side, which is not the greatest. Um, I don't have any, ooh, I have these 88s, which could be, a, hmm. If I go into standoff support, I think they can go standoff support. Maybe that's just, uh, I better check. It's too bad I didn't get this into the action because they could be useful. Um, Let's move one, two, one, two, three, four, four, four and a half. And then they can, no, oh, they're trucks, so they can't cross the, boy, that stinks. There's nothing they can do. I mean, they're four, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. actually could get to here. Well, what the heck? Um, I don't think that I will delineate the blob right there, so we'll just keep them separate, even though they're, they're crossing through there. Um, we have to get this pioneer into action. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, Nine, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we can get. You know, I just realized there's something I should. I'm gonna switch this because this sh this should be. It's a higher. Um, higher factor for that exponent three. So we'll put those two there, and then this one will just come up because it can't do anything else. And let me check on the 88s. Don't think the 88s aren't going to really matter because that's only in defense if it was standoff support. So, um, I mean, I'll, I'll put them in standoff support, but oops, flip and throw off. They're not really going to make a difference unless the, they get attacked here. Okay. Um, now technically, I should. I'm doing this a little out of order, and I, I have to place. I got a full activation, so um, I have to. I 
can do a double objective here. Um, should have done this first. Move this and then. Well, I can I can attack. I'll just attack. So this has to assault. And I can get an assist from here against this armored unit. So it's just a three. And this is nasty, that's seven. So maybe you can see that. It's a little harder to, to read the these numbers. So I got seven here. Um that's <laughs> Okay, I'm starting at minus four. I do not have support. Um, well, appropriate support. Yeah, actually, I do. Oh no, it has to re red A B, but that's that's okay. Well, no, it's not. This really isn't. This is this is assisting, but it's not technically in support. It would have to be a standoff support over here. Um, over there, it has to be red AB, which it is, but it's not technically in support where it's supposed to be. It's just assisting in the hex. So, uh, let's see, we started at minus four, we're at um, double objective elements minus three. Um, we have should have checked for artillery. We have actually two artillery points, so we can do that. Um, you can see the artillery over here. Um, so we'll do um, at minus three. Suppression mission, regular attack is plus two, so now we're at minus one. We have an assist, so now at least we're at zero. That's good. Um, Defender has, um, this does not get um, any terrain help because it's, it's armor only, it's not dual. Um, I think that, Huh. Might be at zero, so I could get a good roll here. It's at zero on the combat table. Get an eight, which is yeah. eight is situational. Um, it's not prepared deep defense, but it is in key considering key terrain, so it does not so this loses another one. Down to three steps, but I needed to get it out, and then I lose a step on this unit. It's down to three. Okay. And there is traffic, although I don't think that's going to matter. And then my other attack is going to be here. Um, with the pioneer, so that's three. Against four, there is there is support. This can use support because it's a dual unit. Actually, where? Yeah, no, I don't think it can use the support. I'll check. Yeah, that it. It's not a dual unit. That this is this is considered dual because it has an armored red armored with a attack arrow. This is not uh, armored. It's basically it's it would be considered like infantry, but rapid deploy infantry and half checks and whatnot. So so the, the support I can use for the CCR. Um, that's gonna be three. Um, and technically I can't well, no, I can, I can attack. I just, yeah, it's going to be seven, three to seven again, minus four. 
this one is not going to be good. I can use the other artillery point um, for suppression, but it's not going to help a lot. Okay, so... They have appropriate support. Um, so they they will get a plus one to defender. So actually, uh, we have it starts out three to seven. So three to eight, it's already at minus five. It is double objective, so now it's minus four. There is an assist, that's minus three. Suppression, plus two, so that's minus one. And, but it contains two combat units, so now we're back at minus two, and it's in a city X, that's plus two, so actually we're at minus four, but I have to try it, I have to try it. Eight minus four is four, and I lose two steps, yikes. So well, that one's down to one, and that one's down to two. No, that didn't work. So the US is still there, and I have to roll for fatigue. Not that it's probably gonna matter. No fatigue after all that. Wow, okay. Um, so I've not made, I've, I've chipped away at this unit, but it still has three steps left, and they haven't retreated, so. That's U.S. turn. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, I gotta show you what happened with the U.S. turn. Uh, the U.S. activated the CCA and they got full activation on the first turn. Um, did a couple of fire events here with the um, A-37 armored. Did not do anything. The um, 53rd Battalion um, pushed back and did um, a, actually one hit on, uh, on the uh, 1-104th and made it retreat. And then it got a full second activation um, and this one did the same thing, pushed it back. I used the artillery points. It gets two per activation for suppression. So they really did some damage on this unit. Um, and I, my goal is just to kind of muck this up because I don't want them coming in from this side as well on this final push. Um, so that it's kind of in the way. And then I did two more fire attacks with this on this pioneer unit and rolled two sixes, which in the city hex, that's you have to get a six to have any effect. And unfortunately, pioneer is only two steps, so the pioneer unit's gone. So that's the situation at the end of um, the third activation for the US side. Second act, second act, let's see. To, yeah, the second. Um, so now the German is left with it. it, it this cavalry, cavalry group really isn't going to be, I mean, it, it's got three steps left, but uh, it might be able to, if something happens down here, it might be able to get a little... Um, fly in the ointment, but I, I, I can't move these anymore, so it's all going to be coming from this way. So now the decision is, do I go right now? I probably should. I'm going to have to go with the 111th Panzer and knock these out right now. I've got two avenues of attack, that, both from the city and also from the clear hex. So now it is supported. So I'm going to have to knock off that support. Um, and I think I'm going to do, let's see. 
this blocks blocks sight lines. So let's activate the one uh, eleventh and hope for a full activation. And I do get it nine. Um, I just throw this into support. Uh, I'm gonna move. Do I have enough? If I if I flip it, I'm gonna have full eight. That that'll be nice. This actually has a range of three. So once I move to here, uh, I'll double check on the sight lines. All right, so. It's what I thought it was, but I had to double check because so many games, it's a little bit different with each game. Uh, so I'm gonna move, oh, I flipped it to the move side or deployed side. I'm gonna go one and then two and I'll have to stop and try to drop the support from this. Um, I have eight. I have a range of three, two, by the way. So the eight to four plus that three is seven. Uh, there's there's the, the support unit for the CCR. Just a little bit. And then that's plus two. Oh, again, I forget the double objective. It's kind of a given that the double objective is gonna go on the victory hex. Um, engagement table, I have a plus two, it's a double objective, that's plus three, um, target only, should be right, target is support zone, um, this is target drop, so I can put a temporary drop support on here. I'm actually going to put it um, here just so it's easier to see what's going on there. Um, so this no longer has the support of the of this uh, tank destroyer unit. Um, now. It's drop support, so I could do a shock attack. I still have one more movement point. I could do that. Um, so why not? If I do a shock attack, I have, it's a pretty hefty unit, five and three. So let's do that. We'll jump up. We'll try to do a shock attack. That's eight. To four, so it's a plus four. Um, I can do. Let's see how much I, I've got. Two artillery. Let's put this over here. Go back so you can see. This is where the headquarters area is. I've got two artillery possibilities. I've got. A, I know I'm going to have to do a an attack with infantry to get in there. But I think I'm going to go without the, I'm going to save the artillery. I can use it for shock attack, but I'm not going to. So again, we got eight to four, that's plus four, plus five, um, double objective. Um, there's no assist. The shock attack attack, but I didn't have enough to do that. Plus six, um, got two, it has two combat units, so now it's down to plus five. Um, it's infantry and city, now it's plus three. There we go. Eight plus three is 11. Ooh, this is looking good. Eight plus three. Situation. Oh well, no, it's, no, it's a retreat. A plus three is a retreat. D loss one. So this one is down to one. I 
forgot that these are kind of fragile units sitting down here too. And they do have to retreat one um, towards the can advance in get stopped for now it's just a matter of hmm. yeah I think that's that's all I needed to do so now it's gonna uh, left to the units to jump in there one two four just come in Should use tweezers when it gets done to this kind of craziness. Close at hand, I'm just too lazy to get them. Okay, so they're actually. Uh, I think I think we're well. I might as well use it. Why not? I, if I can get that out of there. Um, so I use one artillery point to help with suppression in here. Um, I've got three to seven. It's not the greatest, uh, so that's minus four. I do have a real support, appropriate support, so I can use that. Um, that's this. The studio threes that are by the headquarters, they're in support, so that's three plus three is six. No, sorry, I can't use the three, I just use the appropriate support. So um, that's a plus one, four to seven. So we're at minus three, double objective zone, minus two. I've got an assist, minus one. Um, well, let's try that again. I, I, I don't know if I put the suppression in. Started at... Uh, through six to seven, so minus one, no, three to seven. <laughs> That's minus four, S appropriate support is plus one, so minus three, double objective, minus two, uh, assist, minus one, uh, suppression mission for regular attack, now I'm at plus one, and defender has, um, Is, yeah, it's not, the armored unit does not get helped by being in the city. It's actually a disadvantage. So I'm plus one. Ah, 10. That's at 11. D loses one and retreats. So they're down to two. in. That's actually just their first activation too, so I it looks like it's a moot point like the best one. And then this one will go to here, oops, flip, and then go to here and do a couple of engagements on that armor unit. So I have seven to eight. Oh, why wow, that's a strong one. Um, very high quality. Minus one. Um, I can, no, that would be a, it's not in the double objective zone. No. Um, actually it's not going to help. So it's just a minus one. That's a five. Now they both have range, so both can be affected by adverse results. Um, five is fire loss. Eh. So now this is at three. Let's take this. And we'll do one more uh, engagement attack. Seven minus. 
one is one is six. Both loss. So now this one's down to one. This one's down to two. Okay, that is the end of the first activation for the Le 111 Panzer. We'll roll for fatigue. One through three. One, so it's no longer fresh. <laughs> it's not gonna matter, but um, and then roll for second activation. Um, it's going to need a five or a six. Now, if, if this had not been fatigued, if it had been fresh, I would have been able to add one to my roll for that. But uh, Two, so it does not get a second activation. So all we have left is that one screen unit. I just don't see it. Um, I mean, I, there's no way I'd have to pop out. Um, I'd have to pop out this and this just to do anything. So I don't. I mean, I can roll for activation. And see what. Actually, this gets flipped. Um, does get a full activation. Get rid of the screen. Because it can't attack when it's in the screen mode. <sighs> I don't know what. This should be three. So if we move down, this has support. So I mean, it it has to try to get rid of the support. It's five to. Um, I think you we have to move. Oh, there's two on two over there already. Um, it has no range. So if we move to can get to here, can we? We can cross, can't because there's oh, it's uh, um. I guess we have to go to here and stop. It's like one, two, three, four, and try to drop the support from that one. I, it's not much. It's five, two, six, minus one on the engagement table. Oh, it was a full activation, so we'll throw the double objective zone in here. Um, Oh, you know, oh, yeah, this, this temp drop was for the CCR, so that's not in effect anymore. Um, okay. Sneak. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I lost one. And I'm going to have to use the other fire, but maybe not to try to drop the support. 10. Well, the targets drop, but then it stopped. There's there's nothing else they can do. That is the game. Um, and I, I, I have to say that, again, it was more back and forth than I thought, because the US, both, both sides have some fragile units. Uh, I mean, this is only two. It's very powerful, but it's only two steps. Um, the screen units all got, they're only one step, so they're pretty fragile once they've done their duty in trying to keep the, the Germans from pushing in very quickly to that city. And, and honestly, the, the Germans just had a really good set of die rolls to take back this so quickly. If they had not done that with the 111, they would have been left with trying to do it with um, the 15th Panzer Grenadier, and I don't know if that could have happened. So I I enjoyed the scenario more than I thought I would. Uh, it was it was um, fun back and forth. And some quick thoughts about the game, um, the scenario, and, and also the game in general as far as Autocooler 
um, goes and, and <clears throat> my, my first reaction when I when I was setting this up this particular scenario I thought well it's it's a short scenario um, the Germans look like they have big advantage because of their uh, the number of formations they have and the type of units that they're going up against but um, it ended up being very very back and forth and was a lot more competitive than I thought it was going to be at first um, I, I think one of the I'm going to show you a little bit here of the you just flip the headquarters now one of the disadvantage disadvantages for the US side is that um, some of these headquarters start flipped already so although the German have I, I know there's at least one that is flipped so when they start the game the first turn they have to roll for a second activation but on the other hand as you can see here the US has a pretty big advantage in rollings for second activation even though the German had German formations are you know decently strong um, they don't they don't have as a good a chance of getting that second activation so they they're not going to be able to push as far as you might think otherwise whereas the US has a good chance of doing some counterattacks because they can get set up especially in that second turn uh, CCA had a couple of activations the CCR did a lot of damage in capturing the town um, before the end of that second turn happened and switched hands again. Uh, you know, there's bad luck with the German on the first activation, they didn't even, it was a fail totally. And then they rolled, fortunately they got a five and then they got the second activation going which, and they got a full one on that. So it was a little glass half full for them. Um, they ended up not doing a lot um, except Doing a little bit of attrition here in the north um, against that U.S. armored, the CCR armored, that ended up having a treat eventually. Um, so they didn't have tons of effect coming. It looked like if you go over here and see where they came on, and then it it looks like well okay you bump out a screen unit and you can get right into the town but depending on the activation and depending on how that screen unit holds up um, it it can delay things quite a bit and it's only two turns so at the most you're going to get uh, four activations and in this case I think I only got two out of the four so 50-50 the one one eleventh was very effective and has has the best armored units as you can see here um when it's flipped you have that five five three with three range and four three with two range so those are effective and they have four steps each too um so if if the one eleventh had left the field before the start of the second turn uh, I definitely think this would have been a, a U.S. win. So in, in some ways, like, like I said before, it's a little bit arbitrary with the roll of the dice, all of a sudden things change. So I would say that that's the one thing I don't like about this scenario. It seems like it's a little bit um, too luck heavy. Um, but I, what I really like about it is the use of, of armored com concepts and engagements um, screening that's a really good scenario to find out about screening units and how they can delay um, an offensive that's coming down the pike so that it's a really good study scenario for that i don't know that i would play it in a tournament <laughs> i mean it's a good Good tournament one because it's short but I, I don't know if it would be effective and fair um, I suppose you could do some tinkering with the with some of the rules um, weather was 
the biggest factor was it was rain both turns. So um, Allied did not get any air points either way. I mean, if it's good weather, you can see you can get quite a few air points um, in support. Um, so overall, um, good, good scenario for trying out certain concepts, especially armored attacks and um, trying to do uh, supporting engagements with your infantry and armored and um, also use of screening that's very good for that. Maybe not go so good for the luck factor, but um, it was a fun scenario. Um, and then anxious to get to some of the other ones that use more of the whole map and see how, how that turns out. So cool. Uh, until next time. Thanks for watching.